All right, so it's my last day in Paris. Um, I just woke up and I'm gonna vlog my last day here just so I can kind of look back on it and like remember it. I don't know, I just think it'd be a good idea. So I have a few fun things today. I do have an exam, but other than that, it'll be a fun little vlog. Um, like I just showed, it's about 10.30 and I'm gonna get up, get dressed, and start my day. candles and I know probably shouldn't put this tea light candle I think that's what it's called just like on here but it's fine it's whatever All right, this is gonna be my outfit for today. Um, I, this is what I wanted to wear to dinner tonight, but I really don't feel like doing more laundry, so it's cute, I'm just gonna wear it all day. This is a fit for the last day, like I said. I wanted to wear this to dinner, but I don't feel like doing more laundry, so we're just gonna wear it all day. It's this cute little sweater vest with a black long sleeve under it. This black and white skirt with a little slit and just some tights and socks. And yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with this. It's really cute. And I'm gonna wear those boots with it. All right, I'm not sure if I wanna do like a slick back bun or like bubble braids or just leave it down and kind of tame the frizz. I feel like I wanna put it back. I don't know. Like, it's kinda cute, but I know it bothers my neck. And if I wanna wear a hat, it's good that it's down. No. I've been trying to wear my hair down more, but it just kind of like bothers me. I might do like a slick back pony kind of thing and keep my hair down, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. This is my saving grace, the Garnier Fruit. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the best gel. A little bit. So it looks more slick back. that much that much I want to say that usually does the job kind of rub it together the front is where it matters the most because that's where it usually sticks up for me but I think it's gonna be good today I just gotta bring the rest down it's not much this brush it kind of smooths it down so I already brushed my hair no, this is the part where I just have to make it how I want it. And I'm just going to make it super tight. Wrapped it around four times, I think. And she's slicked back. Now I'm just going to go with a little hairspray. This is the best hairspray ever. I love it. It's like not too sticky and it smells so good. All right, that's the hairdo. And I slick back pony. I cannot wait to go back home and get my eyebrows threaded. 
They are so bad, but I'm just gonna use this little brush. Getting them threaded in a few days is gonna be the best. I'm not gonna be constantly looking at my eyebrows. And yeah. Also, I took my earrings out like a week ago and I have yet to put them back in. So we're gonna do that right now. Earrings are in. All right, so I just finished studying and reviewing my notes. Um, it is about 1.30, so. All right, so I'm gonna go cancel my phone plan now. Um, the office is open. I just put my shoes on, my boots, and my jacket on. It's very chilly out, I believe. And then I'm gonna come back and wait to go take my exam. And then my friends and I are gonna go get boba. And I'm so excited because I have a free one. So it's not like I'm spending money, you know? So I'm gonna go do that. Um, I am hungry because I don't really have much to eat here considering I leave tomorrow. So I might go grab something to eat also. I don't know, we'll find out. So I actually forgot that I have these bags of clothes that I have to go bring to, um, they have like these clothing bins that you can drop clothes off if you don't want them anymore. And my room has to be empty by the time I leave tomorrow. So I'm gonna go bring those and then I'm gonna hop on the tram and go do my phone bill. These are the clothes and this is the bin. Maybe I just throw it in there, I don't really know. But we're gonna put that in there. All right, so I just dropped off my letter at the post office to cancel my phone bill, and I got a croque monsieur. I think that's how you say it. It's like ham and cheese. It is so good, but I have to leave for my exam in 10 minutes, so we gotta eat this quick. This is what this one looks like. Um, this one's kind of just like a grilled cheese with ham in it, but an actual one has like melted cheese all on top, and it's so like... Like the cheese pulls, it is so good. But this is honestly really good also. All right, it's official. I have officially finished my last final exam. Um, it was my French history, like director's course. It was, the exam ex itself wasn't hard. It was just like a lot of writing, so my hand hurt, but whatever, it was fine. I'm happy it's over. Um, ew, I, I actually can't believe you for that. That is insane to me. Like, I feel like I just got here and I was like registering for classes and trying to figure out like what I was gonna take. And I was freaking out in the beginning because most of my classes are like history and literature. And I am not the best at that because I have a creative brain. But anyways, we made it through, did everything we needed and now get to enjoy the last night. So I'm waiting for live in a DT to get back and then we're gonna go to MoMA's which is a bubble tea place that's my favorite one and I already said that I have a free I have a free uh boba it took all semester to get but so I'm excited I keep getting the honeydew or the strawberry but I feel like I should get a different one but I already know I'm probably gonna end up getting honeydew but we'll find out so it is freezing. You can't really tell, but like my hands are so dry. I need to bring gloves. And yeah, so I'll see ya at Mama's. Hi. Oh my God, there's so much outside. It is really funny, I'm Time to get some boba tea. How excited are you guys? This is their first time here. I'm sad that uh. This is my 10th time. This is their first. Did you get the free? Yeah. And my free one yes. for number eight, Meryl's for four. number four. Plus seven. Oh. Six. Oh. Eight. Four. You're so random. No. <laughs> Outcast. <laughs> this is the most satisfying part. I'm so scared. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, wow. She just went in for it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is like good. London all over yeah, again. No, yeah. no, I literally got flashbacks when she did that. Rated out of 10. Um, um, she got like extra dark chocolate. Yeah, just dark chocolate, tapioca. tapioca. Yum. It's like a watered down. Oh. 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 Oh.
Wait, let's move. Do it upside down. Oh. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Wow, it's like a magic so trick. Cool. It's so cool. Oh my god, this looks Alright, stab the straw. That well, looks really good. It's brown sugar? I'm brown sugar dirty. Oh. Oh yeah, dirty. That means it's caffeine. I have no idea what that means. Alright, here we go. Alright. Nice. You have to taste it for your first time. Okay, time to... Oh, I should probably take my gloves off. The gloves are Oh, oh, I think that's <laughs> so you're good. I'm so bad at this stick. You, you got it. Which one did you get? I got honeydew boba with tapioca. Yay! <laughs> it's our last day together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's recording now. <laughs> We're going to dinner. Oh. It's our last one. Oh, look at my fingerprint. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, I'm that's, that's, that's not a good angle. <laughs> RERB, everybody. <laughs> They're making fun of me. They've been making fun of me this whole time. Oh my god, there's people on the other train that are staring. Say hi, everyone. <laughs> We're going to dinner with our little study abroad group. Yes. To say goodbye. I look yes. like an egg. do so sad that I'm so random She's name calling in my video. But gonna go get some yummy food. I'm probably gonna get another croque monsieur. And yeah, and some french fries. Same fit. Got a little gift for our program director. The town, or the city, is looking cute. Some fresh fruit at the market. The Marche. This is where we're going for dinner. It's some french restaurant. I don't know. It looks good. Yeah. I've been here with the light. Oh, red napkin. 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 Oh, We've got some steak. And Meryl got chicken with potatoes. This is my first time having creme brulee. That's so cute. Sorry. Two, three. Oh wait, that's so cool. Stop. That is beautiful right over the Seine. I love her. And the boats. She's beautiful. I got a yummy cafe creme. And now I'm gonna pour the cream. This is the cutest little thing ever. Even though that is not satisfying. I just poured all of that in. Like, oh, hooray. <laughs> this is my last coffee in France. It was six euros. That's because we're near the Eiffel Tower. But it's okay. It is very yum, it's cafe creme. The Eiffel Tower is going to sparkle in like seven minutes, eight minutes. I can't count. I have no brain cells. Okay, bye. <laughs> Guys, look at the beautiful Eiffel Tower. This is the last time I'm ever gonna see her in person. The beautiful Musée de l'Homme. She's gonna sparkle in approximately four minutes. I am so excited. Oh my God, look at it. That is my favorite thing about Paris. Look at the pretty. That is beautiful. I could watch this every single day, every single night. We started off at the Eiffel Tower and now we're leaving at the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough. That's My little residence. I'm gonna miss her. Oh yeah, goodbye. Bye. Okay, so I just got back from doing my last day in Paris as a study abroad student. Um, it is freezing outside, but we went to dinner as like our study abroad group with our program director. And then we went to a cafe to get coffee before we watched the Eiffel Tower sparkle because there was like 30 minutes and it was really cold outside, so we did that. And yeah, I'm in the same clothes that I wore to bed last night. 
And I'm wearing a bed tonight because I'm doing laundry right now and I don't want to dirty more clothes. So we're doing laundry right now, like I said, I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna blow dry my hair, straighten it, all that good stuff. And all right, so I haven't really um, recorded anything in a little bit because I just showered. I threw a load of laundry in, which was my last load of laundry here, finally, because it's so expensive. And then I did my hair, straightened it. Um, and now it is 2 a.m. It is very much, it's 1.45, can't really tell. But I have so much to do. I have to. My room has to be empty when I leave. So I have to take those lights down. I have to um, get rid of that. I'm gonna bring the cookies home so they're so good. I have to pack the rest of that, pack my pillowcase. Well, actually, that'll be tomorrow. Um, that's all empty. That's my outfit that I'm wearing tomorrow. And then my shoes. My room's kind of a mess. So I'll have to figure out how I'm putting those shoes in there and whatnot. Um, I have to pack that stuff, figure whatever that is. And yeah, my fridge, I emptied it earlier. It's empty. I'm gonna have those um, yogurts in the morning. And then I just have water. And yeah, my room is going, okay. My room is going to be very uncozy tonight when I take those lights down, but it's fun. I just can't believe we're literally like done. Like, I feel like I just got here and now I'm packing up to leave. We're trying to pack up, it's kind of hard, but it's just insane. But yeah, so I'm gonna continue trying to get my life together here and I'll record and I wanna talk about the culture shock that I did witness when I came here. And cause I just think it'd be fun and like be fun to hear. So I'll do that in a little bit, but in the meantime, I'm gonna try to finish packing. So I'm gonna go take the rest of my lights down and then I'll show you my boring room after. All right, I officially finished cleaning out my entire room. It looks so sad. I made it feel so cozy. I'm gonna show you guys. So everything's packed. I just have this out because I'm gonna put my glasses in there. That's my perfume for the morning and Vaseline, I'm just gonna throw that in my little carry-on, but, and then my AirPods and phone, um, whatever. But I showed you the closet, nothing has changed. My little um, side desk has nothing in it. I'm gonna throw those out once they die out, but look, my lights are gone. That looks so boring. And the bed looks so sad. And nothing on there, like my lights and my whiteboard, nothing on the fridge. Nothing around there. That is so sad. I'm gonna go in the hallway so you can see. Like, that is so sad. Okay, so now that my entire room is cleaned out and ready for me to leave, I'm just sitting here because I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight. That's probably so bad, but I really wanna sleep on the plane for nine hours, so right now it is. It's 3.08 in the morning. I don't know if you can see that, 3.08. And my taxi comes to pick me up at 6.30 in the morning. So yeah, three and a half hours, but that's why I'm debating like not going to sleep. Because if I go to sleep and sleep for like two hours, I'm gonna be even more tired. So I don't know, whatever happens, happens. But I wanna talk about culture shock that I like felt, like noticed when I was here because some of them are just like funny or I'm just like being dramatic, but that's no surprise. So one thing that I noticed is that, let's take Starbucks for example, if you're getting an ice drink, like an iced coffee, they put it in a paper cup. So 
you gotta drink that fast because the cup gets soggy. And yeah, if you like squeeze it hard enough, it will break, which is so weird. Like just give me the plastic cup. It will not hurt. So that's one thing. Um, another thing is the whole uh, no tipping. This one was kind of good because whatever it said like on the menu is what the price was. It's so, like when you go to a restaurant, actually I have two things about restaurants, but we'll first talk about tipping. You don't tip. So like let's say your meal was $14.99, like euros. That's what you pay, which was so nice. And so the other thing about restaurants is they the, like workers get paid living wage. So they aren't working for tips, like I said. Um, so they get you in that restaurant, they get you seated, they get you drinks, whatever, they get your food out. And then once your food comes out, they just like disappear. <laughs> and you literally have to like search for your server to pay the bill. You could sit there for hours and they will never know. But it's nice if you're trying to like waste time and just sit somewhere, but when you're in a rush and you can't find your server to pay your bill, it's not good. Um, what else? Um, well, just public transportation in general. Like, people are so pushy. When you're on the train, on the tram or the metro, like, and you're trying to get off, people from behind you will just push you. They do not care. And then also, oh my God, this thing triggers me. This triggers me so much. When you get to your metro stop and you're trying to get off and someone standing in front of the door doesn't move. Like, literally stands in the doorway as people are trying to get off the train. Like, are you trying to get pushed over? Oh my God, I'm so happy I never have to deal with that again. I cannot wait to sit in a car and drive and listen to my music and not smell everyone that, ew, sorry, that's mean, but it's just gross. I don't even have to go into detail. I don't think you want me to go into detail. Um, the food here definitely is different. Um, you eat a lot of bread, a lot of bread. Every every um, restaurant you go to, you get free bread, free water. They just put it on the table, which is nice, but a lot of bread. Um, oh my God, the gyms. So when I first went to join the gym, when I like walked in there, it looks normal, right? There's no mirrors. Like you're not watching yourself work out like I would do at home. Like when you are bent, um, not benching, if you're like using dumbbells or cables, there's no mirrors to look at yourself. Like you're just staring at the blank wall, which is kind of funny, but I don't know. I kind of got used to that after a while and it was fine. Also you, um, it's like not really that busy. I mean, at least the times that I went to the gym, it was never really that busy, which was really nice. And yeah, there are so many other things that I could probably talk about, but that would make this video even longer than it already is. So we're not gonna do that, but I, I was here for three and a half months, which is like one semester. And I just have to say, I loved it, but I am ready to go back to America. It's just so different here, like, maybe I'm just not used to it, but like, I can't wait to get iced coffee. I can't wait to get like chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A, whatever it is. I can't wait to drive. And I can't wait to be somewhere where I understand what everyone's saying. Like whenever I'm here and it's like, they make an announcement, I'm like, I don't know what they're saying. So I hope it's not bad. And oh my God, eavesdropping, I can't wait to do that because I can't do that here because I don't know what people are saying but yeah so that was my entire day of exploring and finishing my semester here in Paris and I'm so happy that I recorded it so that way I like have it for the memes but yeah I don't really have much else to talk about besides just I'm happy I was here it was fun it was different, it was an experience. And yeah, so, if you guys enjoyed my little vlog of my last day here in Paris as a study abroad student, and this isn't the typical content I would want to make on my YouTube, but 
it's fun. I'm just, I'm just having fun with it. So, hope you guys enjoyed my video, and I plan to start posting more if I'm able to once spring semester starts at school. So, if you made it this far in the video, thank you. <laughs>